back to my channel, Billy X Luxury. So today we are going to do a little review of this beauty, my Van Cleef and Arpels Vintage Alhambra Grey Mother of Pearl with 18 karat rose gold. So we're gonna talk about how I came to purchase this piece by distance because I don't live near the store. I'm gonna do a little review. We're gonna talk about resizing the piece and if you stick around, I'm gonna give you a little heads up of something I might have heard about a potential price increase upcoming. So stick around to the end of the video for that. So this vintage Alhambra necklace was actually my first piece from Van Cleef and Arpels, and I pretty much just bought it because I saw it all over social media and I thought that looks really interesting and cute. Um, might just get something from the range and see what the quality is like. The website I thought I probably might start with the necklace because I had a lot of other jewelry, but I don't actually have very many necklaces. So I picked out this one. It is the gray mother of pearl. I wanted something a little bit different because I do actually have these Bulgari earrings in white mother of pearl. And I thought I've already got a white mother of pearl piece. I might try gray mother of pearl this time. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of the color difference, you can see there the white against the gray. Now, obviously being a natural material, every single piece is gonna be different. Nothing is ever gonna look the same. So there's gonna be variations in every stone from Van Cleef. This one, even you can see on this side, it is very pink, has a very, very pink sheen to it. Whereas on this side, it has more of a green sheen and it has lines through it. So there's one piece of Mother of Pearl actually has two completely different sides which is really nice. I can wear it this way, or if I want it to be more pink toned, I can wear it this way. So that's really cool. I didn't really have very much of a clue about Van Cleef and Arpels, about the differences in the stone colorings, what is more desirable. I've done a lot of research now, but at the time I didn't really know that a more pinky toned mother of pearl is more desirable than a say green toned. So that's really interesting. I'm glad that I ended up with one that has a really, really pink tone, but yeah, and everyone each to their own, everyone likes something different, but personally I like the pink tone and so do a lot of other people. Being so new, I didn't really know that you should ask your essay to look at a variation of different pieces before you purchase. Because the color varies so significantly between one piece and another, you should definitely ask for an array of pieces to view before you pick one. If possible, you should also try it against your skin tone because the color variations can be so significant. Something that could suit one person's skin tone may not suit another's. received this piece I was literally in awe of how amazing it is I know people say that but I have a lot of jewelry especially like a lot of high-end jewelry and I can tell you the craftsmanship on this piece is incredible like I just think it's absolutely amazing it is so perfect down to every single little detail on the piece it's like it's literally perfection so after I bought this piece I then wanted another piece so I was lucky enough to then purchase this five motif bracelet in 18 karat yellow gold Guilloche. So if you can see, I'll just show you a little bit of a variation between the yellow gold and the pink gold because Van Cleef's pink gold is actually really pretty pink in comparison to say Cartier's pink gold, which is not really that much different to their yellow gold. But Van Cleef has a huge difference between their pink gold and their yellow gold. Personally, since purchasing this piece, I definitely prefer the 18 karat yellow gold. I feel like it just really pops a lot more. It is so bright. Whereas with the gray mother of pearl, I definitely think it suits the pink gold more. I don't think it would have the same appeal if it was in yellow gold. What I wanna show you is a bit of a variation across a few different brands of their 18 karat pink gold. So just so you can see how pink the Van Cleef one is. So if we take a look here, my Bulgari bracelet with onyx is in 18 karat pink gold. My Cartier Love Ring is actually also in 18 karat pink gold. And then my Van Cleef & Arpels Vintage Alhambra Pendant is in pink gold. Now, if you take a close look, you can see that the Bulgari and the Cartier pink golds are actually quite yellow in comparison to the Van Cleef & Arpels. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons. Now, the pro is it's 
beautiful. I mean, it's an amazing necklace. It's really striking. It is different. You don't really see very many people with them on, or at least I don't. I don't see anyone that lives around where I live that wears Van Cleef and Arpels. So it is a very striking sort of necklace, depending on what stone you go for. I feel like the Mother of Pearl, because it just shines so different in the sunlight, depending where you are and what light you're in, it just is so vibrant and beautiful. So that is definitely a pro. The way Van Cleef and Arpels does their chain also, the way I guess they shape their chain, it just, it sh it's just very bright. It's, it, I don't know, it just shines the way that they do their chain. And it is the same on the bracelet. The chain is exactly the same shape and it just, it just glows. It just shines a lot more than any other sort of chain that I have ever come across. I'll show you a little bit of a comparison between this chain and my uh, Tiffany Diamond by the Yard chain. And you can definitely see the difference, how this chain just pops in color. Another pro is that you can resize it free of charge. So when I purchased this, the resizing policy was uh, you could add or remove five centimeters within the first three months free of charge, but they have since changed the policy since October last year to one year. Nice about the resizing is that when they add extra length, they make it so that it is even. They don't just add five centimeters to one side and not to the other. So as you can see, it is evenly spaced to be exactly the same on either side. They have added this little jump ring so that I can wear it at the original length if I wanted to, but I definitely found that the original length was just too short for me. It just sat really, really high and it was really uncomfortable. So I added the whole five centimeters back on and it sits at the perfect length for me now. Now you can see with the extra five centimeters added, this is where it sits on me and it is a uh, way better length than it was originally. So let's talk about cons now, because there are a couple. Now the first con is this necklace twists. When I had it on the original length, it would twist around itself and get shorter and shorter and shorter. And that's why I made the decision to add the extra five centimeters because it just, like I was constantly untwisting it all day and I felt like it was so tight, it was like choking me. So it definitely still twists with the added five centimeters, but it is not as bad as it was at the original length. Obviously some people probably like it that original length, but it just didn't work for me. I just felt like it just sat way too high. And with the ongoing twisting throughout the day, I just, it just was too short. So it does definitely still twist, but you know, you just untwist it a couple of times a day and it is fine. Next con I have to tell you about is that you can't get this piece wet. Now, depending on which stone you go for from Van Cleef and Arpels, you pretty much shouldn't get any of them wet. You can't um, get any lotions on them. You can't get any perfume on it. You can't take a shower in it. You can't go swimming in it because all of uh, any sort of chemical or any sort of water can damage the piece. With Mother of Pearl, I have heard that it can potentially shrink over time and then it doesn't sit so nicely in the gold because pretty much it is just a piece of stone sitting in a gold casing. So if it starts to shrink, it could potentially fall out or it's just not gonna look very nice. I have also heard that Mother of Pearl can lose its luster over time when exposed to water, which is actually really strange. I don't really understand this concept because I feel like Mother of Pearl comes from the sea. So I don't really know why you can't get it wet, but Van Cleef and Arpels definitely recommends you don't get it wet at all. I do wanna just talk about my Bulgari earrings for a second because they are white Mother of Pearl and I have showered in these a number of times over the last couple of years and I think they still have a really amazing luster. I haven't seen any difference in it but given Van Cleef and Arpel's uh, warning on not getting any water on the Mother of Pearl, I definitely don't shower with my pendant on. There is such a thing called a Mohs scale, which is a scale of hardness. So for instance, Mother of Pearl is a 2.5 to a 4 on that scale and a diamond is a 10. So it goes from softest to hardest. So I will put a picture of the Mohs scale up for your reference. But on that scale, it does show that the Van Cleef and Arpels Mother of Pearl is definitely on the softer side. It is a delicate stone. So you definitely have to be careful. Those of you that do want to shower, sleep, swim, whatever, in your stones, Van Cleef does actually replace stones. So they can put a whole new stone in your gold casing for you, but that does come at a fee. And I have uh, heard that if you have a, say, five motif bracelet with five different stones in it, they won't just replace one, they need to replace all. Obviously, so that they all kind of are more uniform and they will match better. But just be aware that, say, if you are swimming or getting a bracelet exposed to perfumes and 
lotions and things like that, it's going to cost you a lot more than it will a pendant to replace the stones. Now when looking at your stone choices, if you are wanting a more durable stone that you can potentially get wet and you know don't have to be so careful with, it definitely would be say the onyx. They don't recommend you swim or get lotion or anything on any of their stones, but the most durable stones that they have is the black onyx, the blue agate, uh, or the carnelian. They're all sitting at about a seven on the Mohs scale, and then they get more delicate from there. So say malachite is very, very fragile. That is the green one, it's very delicate. You have to be so careful. I have heard instances where people have cracked their stones, um, scratched them, things like that. For a piece that you don't have to remove at all, you can shower, you can swim, you can gym, whatever in. The best thing to do would be to go with a solid gold piece like the Gaoche bracelet that I have or the solid gold hammered. Um, it does come in earrings, bracelet, necklace, all sorts of different designs. So if you want one that is more durable, then something like this would be the go. enjoyed my video hope it was a bit informative for you if you are considering purchasing this piece I think do it because I love mine I think it is like the most beautiful necklace ever it's amazing I definitely do recommend extending it the extra five centimeters it just makes it so much more comfortable and it sits in a nicer position if you enjoyed this video and you like watching videos on luxury jewelry and handbags I upload weekly so please give me a thumbs up on this video let me know that you liked it leave me a comment if you want to be updated every single time that I do an upload you can click the bell which will keep you notified and of course please subscribe to my channel thank you for your ongoing support see ya